first we got to go get my uh, my calipers here, and I'm going to use my dial calipers. That's my favorite set. I've got a couple different sets in there, and the mic, and some other things in my precision my precision uh, tools drawer here. But this is my favorite one. My NSK dial calipers. So there we go. I'm gonna gotta set this to zero. Make sure it's set to zero. Right on the money there. And we just tighten this screw so that that doesn't move. Oh, Got to loosen it a bit. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but we'll get her done. There we go. So, what we want to do, first thing, is we're going to check the bore on this. And that'll tell us what the outside diameter of that seal has to be to fit in here. And you always want about a thousandth or so over. So we stick this in here, and we just kind of turn a little bit, and we want to try and find center, is what we're trying to do. Just work that one side till you find a nice center. And yeah, oh, I apparently did not have a nice center found. There we go. And you always double check, make sure that you got it right. Check twice, buy once, you know. And what we're looking at is, well, I don't know if you can see those numbers, but uh, we're looking at uh, 2.3, 2 2.322, which if we come over to the conversion table, I don't expect it to convert over to a proper decimal, but... Uh, or 2.322, so if we go 0.328, it'd be somewhere between 21 sixty-fourths and 5 sixteenths. So, first step, and that is the outside diameter, so we'll write that down. I gotta find a scrap. Of paper. Okay, found a piece of paper. So, we're going to write down OD of 2.322 inches. There we go. The other thing we're going to need either is we're going to need an inside diameter and we're going to need a width. Now, well, I'll explain that later. So, I want to double check my readings here. Just make sure I got it right. And it would seem that we have, or thereabouts anyways. So, Next thing we have to do is measure the inside diameter of the seal. Now this can be a bit of a tricky one. First thing you got to do is determine where your seal rides. Now in this particular shaft, the seal will ride on this surface right here. This is actually your bearing surface. So we'll take our trusty caliper. We're going to slide it on there like so and just slide it off. And we'll come up with 1.493 is what we're showing. And we'll double check. One point four nine three. So the inside diameter is one point four nine three inches. Now it never hurts to have your inside diameter just a touch small. And by small there I'm talking, when I talk small or large in these numbers here, any of these numbers, I'm actually talking about like maybe 
one or two thousand. So two point three two one, or I guess in this case you'd want it to almost be a little bit bigger. So you go two point three two three, or in the inside diameter case one point four nine two. So next we have to figure our width out. Well, in this particular case, the bearing and the uh, or the race and the seal ride in the same surface. So what we actually have to do is measure first the width of the race. Or no, we won't. First thing we're going to do is figure out our depth. So we use the dial indicator like that, the caliper like that. And our, we have a depth of, let me double check myself here. We have a depth of 0.944 is what it's looking like. 0.944. Now you're going to want to write, in this particular case, you're going to want to write that down. 0.944. Four. I double check there. Like I say, check twice, buy once, you know. Just always try and be sure. So, then we have to measure the width of this bearing, or the race, I mean. So, we get it in there, like so. And, uh, I'm showing four point or point excuse me point four six six so point four six six now we subtract and we come up with uh, eight thirteen and fourteen so eight seven and four so we have a possible width on that seal of 0.478. So, <clears throat> what this is going to mean for us, now these numbers don't look like much right now, but if you have all of these numbers, then you can go to any parts house and uh, figure out what kind or what, uh, what number your seal is by showing these to the guy behind the counter. Because every good parts store should have a book that has an interchange manual and it says and the pertinent information that you need is the outside diameter inside diameter and width of your seal there's also different kinds of seals that you can get with uh, with different with different um, rubber types you can get Viton regular rubber um, double lipped uh, uh, spring compressed there's there's oodles and oodles of different kinds of rubber and it all depends on your application, you know, it's, you know, and at your discretion. Viton is almost always the best. It's got the most wear resistance and it's the best sealing, you know, but wear resistance, uh, resistance to abrasives and such is, is the big thing there and uh, chemicals. And rubber is just, you know, generally going to be cheaper. They're good seals. There's nothing wrong with them. But anyways, so tomorrow I'll take this information here and these bearings into my local parts store, Heedles, and I will see if I can't get this thing fixed tomorrow. So we'll keep you guys, uh, we'll keep you guys uh, informed.